Well, let's think of something brighter, solar cells. They might be the key to decarbonizing our power grid, but there's some obvious drawbacks. And I don't mean the expense or how fragile they can be, or even when a cloudy day comes along. This time the issue is plants. Sean Giggy explains. One of the biggest obstacles with solar power isn't darkness, it's plants. So if the grass grows higher than the solar panels, then that affects the, it creates what's called shading and that affects the amount of energy that we're able to produce. Alora Arana is the project development manager for Adapture Renewables, which owns this 330 acre solar farm in Gainesville. She says not only can grass create shade, mowing it is one of the company's biggest expenses. So, to lower the cost, Adapture has contracted an unlikely team of landscapers. <laughs> 467 sheep now maintain the land, eating their way through 330 acres of grass. It's just kind of endless growth, so those sheep can eat and just eat as much as they want. Rancher J.R. Howard provides the sheep. He says they don't just eat vegetation, they help it grow. <laughs> the soil's organic content has improved 300% meaning the land could also be used for farming or beekeeping. I know the sheep would be a perfect fit for this. As expected, the flock has saved a lot of money. We have not had to bring out um, or do any traditional mowing on this site since they have been introduced. It isn't just cheaper, it's cleaner. No lawn mowers means no emissions. <laughs> providing enough clean energy to power more than 14,000 homes. I think the sheep love it out here. I mean, it's just free food at all times, whenever you want. I think it's real nice out here for them. For them and all of yous. <laughs>